The concept of an extremely long-range, high-altitude, large-capacity bomber began to take shape on Boeing's drawing boards as early as 1937. By 1940, the design was complete, and the B-29 Superfortress made its first flight late in 1942. Because of its extremely long range of 3,700 miles, carrying 20,000 pounds of bombs, the Superfort was directed to the Pacific and was not deployed in Europe. From airfields in India and China, the huge bomber flew raids on targets in the China-Burma-India theater. Later, B-29 bases were built on captured Saipan, Guam, and Tinian. From these islands, the 21st Bomber Command staged high-altitude raids on the Japanese homeland. These missions were effective, as were the low-level incendiary raids that followed, but the Japanese war party insisted on fighting to the bitter end. That bitter end came on August 6th of 1945, and again on August 9th of 1945, when atomic bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. On orders from the Emperor, Japan surrendered unconditionally on August 15th, 1945, bringing the hostilities of the most costly war in history to a close. The B-29 you see here is owned and maintained by the Confederate Air Force and is the only one still flying. 